Welcome to OpenTDD 201. This tutorial will teach you how to play and how to play well with your host, Sapphire United. Installation Simply go to OpenTDD.org and download the latest stable version. The Basics Start a game. Before you start a game, you can select many options about the map you wish to play on. There are four different climates. Temperate, Subarctic, Subtropical, and Toyland. In this tutorial, I will be demonstrating in the temperate climate. To pan about the map, you can hold down the right mouse button or use the directional pad. Use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. You can also use Z to jump around the map. Hovering over any button will tell you about what it does. Left clicking on an industry will tell you more about its production. To make money in OpenTDD, you must take products from industries that supply them to industries that demand them. In order to find out which cargoes go to which industries, simply click on an industry and select the display chain button. A menu will pop up telling you which cargoes that industry makes or demands. From left to right, cargoes move through the supply chain of industries. The coal mine produces coal and the power station demands it. This is the finances panel, where you can borrow and repay loans. By control clicking you can borrow or repay the maximum amount. This will change your current amount of money accordingly. In order to grow a prosperous transport empire, you will have to make money from transporting freight or passengers. In OpenTDD you can transport with trains road vehicles, airplanes, ships, and trams. Trains. We will start off with building a simple point-to-point -point rail line. Click the Build Railroad Track button to begin construction. Use the station tool to build the pickup station at the coal mine and the drop-off station at the power station. The blue footprint indicates the station catchment area. Make sure that each industry is within this area. It will tell you what the station that supplies and demands when in the correct location. Now use the Auto Rail tool, hotkey A, to build rail between the two stations. You can drag this tool to lay rail faster. Now build the rail depot along your line. Left click the depot and click the new vehicles button. Buy a train and 9 coal cars. When building stations, it is important to remember that each station tile can hold 2 train cars. The station we just built can hold 10 train cars. Continue by giving the train orders. Select the go to button and left click on the station near the coal mine, then the station by the power station. The train will now go between both stations transporting coal. To improve the efficiency of this process, make the train full load at the coal mine. You can also use timetables to determine how long a train will wait at a certain station. Press delete to close all of your windows. Road vehicles. Find a town and build two bus stops at opposite ends of it. Use the build roads tool to accomplish this. Now build a road depot and purchase a bus. Order the bus to go between the two bus stops. Instead of making another bus, simply clone it off the road. Road vehicles are often used as feeders to move passengers from within a city to a train station. To improve this function, you can use conditional orders which make the road vehicle skip to the unload order as soon as it is full. Airplanes. Press delete again to close all windows. In order to make space for an airport, use the level land tool to flatten an area. The level land tool can level square areas or diamond shapes when you hold control while dragging the tool. This house will also need to be destroyed. Use the dynamite tool to remove it. Now use the build airports button to build a city airport. Make sure it accepts passengers and mail. Now find another city and place an airport there. Select the aircraft hangar and build an airplane, then route it between the two airports. 
If the airport noise level limit is enabled, cities will only tolerate certain sizes of airports based on their population. Ships Open the mini map by clicking on the display map button. We will use this map to look at our current land ownership, as well as find a ferry route. Begin by selecting the Build Ship Docks button. Build a dock near each town, a buoy in between both towns, and a ship depot. Now make a passenger ferry and route it. Trams in order to use trams, you'll need to apply a new graph before starting the game. A new graph is a new graphic which adds or removes content from the game. To easily acquire new graphs, click the Check Online Content button in the main menu. Find a new graph and download it. You will then have to add it and apply it. To build trams, hold down the Road Tool button and scroll down to the Tram Construction menu. Trams are much like road vehicles, except that tram tracks can be built over roads as well as on their own. 